Hey, I'm Pippi Peterson. Living full-time in my RV, the question that I definitely get asked the most is, how do I make money? How do I work from home? How do I travel from one city to another without having to worry about a job? Um, so I have put together some ideas of things that I've done in the past, things that I'm doing now, things that I know other people are doing to sustain that lifestyle. And uh, it, hopefully it will help you get some inspiration or just decide some kind of path you can take to start living in an RV, travel around, or even not travel around, and uh, work from home. I think by far the easiest and most accessible job for RVers and people living in their trailers would be what's called work camping, often spelled W-O-R-K-A-M-P-I-N-G. Um, or just type in work and camping into Google and you'll find a ton of sites dedicated to uh, getting the right folks to um, work for certain uh, national parks or trailer parks, RV parks in exchange for free rent, free living. Some even offer free propane, uh, free utilities. Um, so I would think that that's the best way and most accessible for almost anybody you can be of uh, an older generation or a younger generation and uh, depending on the work that they have available um, you can probably find something that fits your needs. The only downside that I found with work camping is often they expect two people to be living in the RV so they they kinda get like two two times the work for you know one free spot uh, so some parks they won't take a single person living in their RV. Um, so that's one downside. But there's so many, I mean, every situation is so different. There's so many uh, possibilities and variations. You just got to find the one that's right for you. The next thing that I do is uh, being a web designer and graphic designer, I have exchanged these services for free rent. So maintaining a website, building a website, rebuilding, redesigning a website um, in exchange for you know a few months of free rent, free electric and stuff like that. Also I maintain social media sites for different companies. I don't do so much anymore um, kind of because I don't really believe in it. I think people should maintain their own social media sites but that is another way to make a little bit of extra cash flow each month. Another way that I make a little bit of extra cash is by belly dancing. So I know that's not um, accessible to uh, probably most people, but <laughs> it's another way that um, I can gain a little bit extra cash. Another thing that I've done in the past, and this uh, unfortunately definitely depends on the part of the country that you are in, um, or even what country you're in, but uh, it's specifically in Southern California, it's pretty easy and um, fairly common enough that you can get work as an extra. Uh, so you just sign up with a couple different websites slash companies and you put up a profile talking about you know um, what you look like because that's all that really matters on screen and uh, then they will contact you if they need somebody that looks like you and um, you work as an extra or a background actor, you never usually say anything or you never um, write up close to the camera and you make, you know, maybe 60, 80 or even more a day and, you know, sometimes it's only a few hours you have to be there, sometimes it's longer, um, but you get overtime and uh, this is another fun and uh, no strings attached sort of way to make a little bit more money. Then there's other ways to make more money or even lots of money. For example, software development and uh, app development. Um, these are definitely a little more dependent on uh, previous skills and um, even if ideas and stuff. However, uh, when you work from home or you don't have to go somewhere a day or for the day, um, you get a little more free time, which means you can be a little more creative and uh, you can kind of let some juices flowing. Um, so for example, I've got a couple ideas for apps and because I've got a little bit more laid-back lifestyle, 
um, I, I can spend a little time extra learning about it or, um, you know, beginning to build one. Um, so this sort of lifestyle, you're not really like, um, saving, you know, or investing in your future in a way, how, it, unless you consider, uh, the creative forces an investment, which definitely is. I mean, let's say, uh, these apps that I've got ideas for, you know, I probably wouldn't have thought of it if I was going to work all day long, coming home exhausted and just trying to uh, rest until the next day. But, um, you know, having a little more laid back lifestyle, I've got the time to think about this and the ability to be creative and um, I'm a little bit more stress free so I can kind of focus on these things. So, um, so yeah, living in your RV, uh, working from home, working from the road, you're, it's not like, a, it's probably not like a long-term investment thing, or it can be long-term depending on what you do with it, but um, it's also a great time to let the creative juices flow and get ideas out there or do some things that you've always wanted to do that you couldn't do going to a job every day. So I hope you got some ideas out of this. And I hope I've answered a million people's questions because everybody wants to know uh, what I do for work. So now you know and um, good luck on your adventures and uh, please provide feedback if, if you've got some other ideas. I know there are obviously other ways to make money from home but these are just some that, that I've had my fingers in the pot <laughs> doing. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I am Pippi Peterson. Please subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos.